Hey guys, in this video we're going to be looking at the top three Safari alternatives that you can use for web browsing on your iOS device, so let's start off with number three. Number three is the Dolphin web browser. This web browser is a great experience. It's really fast and fluid, and it also has tabbed web browsing, so it makes it really easy to get through all of your tabs. Um, when you're doing any type of web browsing here, it's really fluid, and you know, it just works really well. It's a great alternative to Safari, and it does have a lot of cool options on the bottom of the actual web browser where the settings are located. Each option down here has even more options, so you can add bookmarks, speed dials, um, you can even do gestures to find your favorite web page, and this also shares very easily to Facebook, and you can even send things to Evernote, Twitter, your mail account, and lots of other things. The Dolphin web browser also has a private browsing mode. If you're going to get freaky at night with your phone, you can have some sense and peace of mind that nobody will be able to track all of the information after you have visited the websites. Now, you can also do lots of other things. You can Wi-Fi broadcast. This is a really cool feature. Um, if you set out a Wi-Fi broadcast, your friends around you will be able to see the web pages that you're on. It's really cool if you all want to access the same website at one time without giving him or her the direct link. Now it's really easy to enter URLs in this and it loads web pages up extremely fast and it really is a really great web browser. This is definitely um, in the top three of web browsers that I recommend. We're loading up The Verge here and as you can tell, it does load the mobile site, which is great, and it loads it really quick. You see a quick little green bar at the top. It shows you it's uh, loading the web page and there's lots of additional settings that you guys can mess around with to get a perfect web browsing experience. The number two app that I recommend besides Safari is called Yahoo Access. I actually did a comparison of this a long time ago with Safari and it definitely holds its ground. It's a really cool web browser that allows you to uh, search the web in a unique way. I'll show you that in a second here. But if you have web pages open in front and back, you can go back to the web page or go forward. Now if you pull down from the top there, you can see that you can search the web and you can even uh, go directly to a URL using this area. And it has a really cool feature where you can automatically see some thumbnails um, on the right side of the search. So you don't have to actually go to the link. You can just search for things right there and it pops up. It's really nice. Now, just like the Dolphin web browser, the Yahoo Access web browser renders pages extremely quickly and everything is really fast and fluid. As you can tell, it loads up the mobile site, which is great for the iPhone and everything just loads quickly. It renders quickly. You get more options down here at the bottom. Of course, you can do a whole bunch of things like sharing the Facebook. Facebook and Twitter and you have a whole bunch of settings that you guys can mess around with if you want to customize this web browser to your uh, to your liking. Now you can also see your bookmarks here and it's really easy to see them and set them up and customize them and access them directly. So it's a really great web browser. Let's move on to number one. So the number one alternative to Safari on your iPhone, you might have guessed it, is Google Chrome. Of course this is a great web browser because you can sign into Chrome on your Mac, on your PC, and on your iPhone, and everything will stay in sync because of the Chrome Cloud Sync. Now this is an extremely fast web browser, and it works really well. I mean, it works just like Chrome that would on your Mac computer or your PC at home. It's extremely fast, lots of cool settings that go along with it. If you press this button right here, you get even more settings such as opening a new tab, opening a new incognito tab if you want to go private, and you do have more settings and lots of cool things that you can do with this web browser. As you can tell there on the bottom, you do get favorites and even more options for this web browser. One thing that's really cool is if you pull from the sides of your iPhone screen, it will move between your tabs really quickly. And it's also a great way to do like a sneak peek. If you've got some information on the other page, you can easily pull it over, look real quick, and then go back to your other tab. It's just a lot faster than the browsing experience um, that Safari brings you on your iPhone. You can also see um, sort of a thumbnail view of your tabs if you didn't want to switch between them and you have lots of tabs open That's really easy. You can also just throw them away and bring up new tabs really easily with Chrome Now here is what an incognito window looks like. It's almost identical to um, The computer version of it and of course you can still see all your tabs if you have an incognito window open as well It's really cool and um, Google really did a great job with this application and let's go ahead and open up a um, web page here and see how fast it renders and google.com of course renders quickly and loading up the Taco Bell um, 
website here you can tell it works extremely well but one thing i did notice i tried requesting a desktop page and it didn't work but that's probably um, because of the taco bell website but you do also get lots of settings as well with this app all right guys well that wraps up my three alternatives to safari on your ios device i'm curious as to what you guys use to an alternative to use any of these or do you use a different one be sure to let me know and i'll see you guys in the next video thanks for watching